Welcome. I'm delighted to join you here on numerologist.com. Hi, I'm Julie Geigel, international psychic medium and spiritual healer over at HeavenSentHealing.us. And I'm here today to share with you a beautiful chakra healing forecast. All right, so um, the card that we drew for you this week from our chakra deck is self-worth. So self-worth. And this is the second chakra, so it's orange, and it's the sacral area, so that's the lower abdomen. If you'd like to learn more about that chakra specifically, you can bounce over to the website, and there's more information on that. But let's dive into the message today. So how can I remove any blocks in this chakra for this week? So it is all about I am deserving. What comes up for you when you actually say that? How are you feeling in your body when you say, I am deserving? I want you to repeat that affirmation seven times every single day, all week long, because this is going to help get rid of any stuck energy. Because right now, this week is about aiming higher. All right? Good enough is done good enough is over all right this week it's a it's about aiming for more aiming higher now the universe is trying to bring in these glorious things for you but you are blocking them there you're sabotaging yourself by not believing that you're worthy so last week we talked about um, feeling good enough, I am worthy. And this week, we are moving into that I'm deserving. So it's the same theme. We're moving along that same line and continuing to dive deeper. So dive deeper into what can you do to increase your confidence and self-esteem and courage, right? That's this week. So, I am the best in the world at what I do, right? How would that change your life if you sincerely believed that every single moment of your day? So, step into that, visualize that, use that to fuel you this week. And you know what? Don't sit around and be a victim. There are two types of people in this world. There are people who feel think they're a victim of the world, and there are people who understand that they are the world, right? So you can recreate your reality every second of your day. Use any, anything in your life that hasn't gone right. Use that as fuel to get you to the next place you want to go, but don't use that as an excuse to stay stuck. Oh, poor me. Yeah, that energy is over. That is like gone. That's yesterday. Um, today, the new energy this week is really wanting you to buy your own flowers. You don't need somebody to buy you flowers. You don't need somebody to buy you a box of candy. No, get it for yourself. And you know, you don't have to wait for a special occasion. Celebrate today. Celebrate how wonderful you are right now, right here today. Um, and self-esteem is an inside job. And again, we've talked this month about uh, taking responsibility for yourself and not blaming other people. And so your self-esteem, you have a choice. You know, when someone says something to you, you have a choice on how you're going to feel about it. So you might automatically default to, oh, poor me, but be aware, be aware of the thoughts in your mind. Be aware of how you're feeling when other people do things or other people say things, because it's not what they did or what they said. It's how it makes you feel, right? Because at the end of the day, you could take 10 people and say the exact same thing to them, and all 10 people would react differently. 
It is our perception. It is the reality that we've created based on our thought system of who we think we are or who we think we're not. And you can change that. You can change that. You are magnificent. You really are the best in the world at what you do. Start believing in yourself, right? Be kind to everyone always, starting with you. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, everyone. Um, that's all I have for you here today. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure to jump over there and subscribe to numerologist.com. And you'll be notified as soon as my video goes live. And if you've got any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below for me. I'd love to circle back and, you know, give you any of my insights or wisdoms, any way I can help you. And um, yeah, may you be enfolded in God's love every day. Mwah!